One of my favorite new features of Photo Raw 2020 is the all new channel mixer filter. It allows you to convert your images to black and white, create infrared swaps, and also get a little crazy with your colors. So let's use it on this photograph. So I'm inside Photo Raw 2020, and I'm gonna head down to this all new feature instead of develop, this AI auto. That's going to automatically develop all of the tone and color settings on this image so that it creates a nice looking photograph. Well, now that I've already developed my tone and color, I don't have to do anything else inside of this develop tab. I can head into my effects tab. So let's add a filter and I'll add the all new channel mixer filter. And the channel mixer filter is a pretty specific filter inside Photo Raw, but you can use it on your images to create nice style. So inside this channel mixer, let's go into our more styles right here. So the first thing I would do with the channel mixer filter is I would probably use it to convert my image to a black and white, which you can do by just heading down to any of these black and white filters. Another thing you could use the channel mixer filter for is modifying the colors on your photograph. You can get crazy with them with these false color ones, especially this false color too. I think that really modifies the style in a unique way and you can always modify the opacity. Or you could head down and you could use one of these vivids to enhance the color of a green or blue or red tone. So I could use this, this vivid green, to enhance all of the greens in my foreground. But I'm gonna head down here and I'm gonna use this black and white infrared. Black and white infrared is going to bring dark contrast into my sky area where it's blue and it's going to lighten up the greens in my area with white. So if I turn this off and on, I really like what it's doing to my photograph. I love the black and white style. And the great thing about Photo Raw is we can always add new filters. So now I'll add another filter and I'll add dynamic contrast to bring some detail into my shot. And let's go in here and I'm gonna pull up on this small slider a bit. Perfect. So now let's add one last filter and I wanna add sort of a print look onto the shot. So I'm gonna go down into borders. So now I have a nice border, I'm gonna head down into this borders filter and in this fit image slider, I'm gonna pull up on it and that's gonna uncrop some of that shot. Perfect. So now let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard. And we've used that new channel mixer filter to apply a nice black and white infrared style onto this landscape. 